Kathleen Che, uh, MEP, you're based in well Budapest at the moment, of course, because of the coronavirus. But can you tell us a little bit about the situation in Hungary? Well, uh, Hungary is currently in the second phase of the uh, of the of the of the of the virus. We just entered the community spread phase uh, a couple of days ago. Currently, we have uh, 187. Uh, confirmed cases and nine casualties so far, but unfortunately, testing level is uh, still quite low. Uh, as far as I know, is the lowest in the EU per capita. So uh, we are still uh, well preparing for uh, harder times, but well, hopeful that we can we can weather the storm. And are you having sort of similar lockdowns to the rest of Europe? Bars and uh, cafes closed, that sort of thing. Is is there a lockdown? Uh, we don't have a lockdown. Um, restaurants uh, and cafes are only supposed to operate until 3 uh, p.m. and they are only able to serve for takeaway. Uh, businesses are able to stay open until 3, uh, nothing afterwards. And of course, the government urges everybody to stay at home if possible. Schools were locked down, kindergartens were locked down. Um, the, the entire education system moved into the digital phase, well, which is a good sign that we are actually capable of doing so. So it could be uh, something to uh, hold on also for the future. And uh, well, at least for me personally, it's quite worrying that people are still not cautious enough. Unfortunately, in the streets, we still see people mingling, uh, feeling that they are on holiday. Um, hopefully with the colder weather, uh, folks will be uh, more likely to stay at home. But I, I, I'm a bit worried because of the elderly people I see all over the country. Now, the Justice Minister has uh, an, uh, introduced, I think, I think they've been approved, uh, more stringent measures, more uh, a state of emergency, uh, is this uh, a reasonable precaution in these very difficult times? Other countries are taking similar view. Uh, the Parliament voted uh, on a very, uh, let's say, very, very special and, in my opinion, a bit too, uh, too strong uh, legislation concerning the state of danger. Uh, it didn't pass the parliament uh, as it was a part of an urgent procedure. Uh, it needed the, fourth, uh, the approval of the four-fifths of the parliament. Uh, the opposition uh, parliamentarians did not support the bill uh, due to the fact that it would, uh, uh, it would have no sunset clause. So basically it wouldn't have to be renewed in every 15 or 30 days. And it uh, gives a, a very high power of ruling by decree in the hand of the government. Well, of course, we all understand that harder times call for uh, special measures. It's not a problem. But in our opinion, uh, we should have uh, an endpoint, which, can, which uh, could be uh, re-evaluated. Uh, we would support the 30-day uh, period for these measures. Uh, the government will put it back on the parliament agenda for next week's session. And then uh, a super majority, a two thirds majority will be enough for them to pass it. And as the government currently possesses this majority, it will quite likely uh, uh, get into law next week. I've seen that one uh, Hungarian MEP from the same party has launched a petition and sent a letter to the European Commission on this subject. Do you support uh, that letter? Uh, well, I think it would be very important uh, for the Commission to engage in the dialogue with these countries. Uh, rule of law still has to be the cornerstone of the European Union, no matter uh, uh, of uh, the, the situation around us. In my opinion, giving an unlimited uh, decree of power in the hands of any government is unjustified. Uh, Parliament can perfectly exercise control over government uh, in Hungary, even in the crisis times as it is possible to do so in every other European countries. Uh, proportionality is very important. Also, as the European Parliament is able to vote uh, remotely, mm -hmm. as we will this week, I, I think that there is uh, like no circumstances uh, possible where Parliament couldn't exercise uh, control over these measures, where Parliament couldn't support uh, the extension.
of uh, a state of danger in case the situation would require it to do so. I see from your, your, your Twitter feed that you are, have also volunteered for the, the ambulance service. I know that your background, you are, uh, you have a medical training. So um, are you going to be able to uh, be an MEP and do this at the same time? Well, I, I think it's certainly possible. And uh, also in times of hardship, we all have to offer our best. Uh, politicians very often call other people to take action. Well, I think it's also our time to uh, to to do our best. Uh, the Hungarian healthcare system is nearing its capacity, the edge of its capacity. And this was a, a call uh, put, putting forward for everybody with a healthcare degree in hand to volunteer to help out. And of course, I felt obliged as a trained physician to help my community in this hard time. Uh, well, of course, I have to juggle it with my duties as an MEP, but as I don't have to travel to Brussels, uh, I'm quite sure that uh, there will be some days where I will be able to help out in uh, the capacity wherever I, uh, I, I'm able to work. Kathleen Jade, thank you very, very much indeed.